Raz looks good in this form, but then Raz always looks good. Queen Irene could maybe learn a thing or two from this one. A fair point. Raz, uh, I will keep that in mind. You have spoken with the Trethane, then. You understand my genius plan, yes? Yes. There we will find out the truth about this Thalmor officer, Astaril. She's quite the beauty, I'm told, but traitors are never what they seem, yes? This one is... no. I'm ready when you are. Be ready. This one is counting on you to watch his, uh, her back. Astril, is that you? Yes. Come closer, my queen. I have something for you. What is this? A gift in memory of Prince Naaman. Vice Reeve Peladil sends his regards. You will die. And the true king of Alinor will rise again. Well, that hurt. Raz will be fine. A few burns will not kill this one. But uh, for the moment, he thinks you should press on alone. You must catch Astaril and find out where Peladil is hiding. She used some kind of magic to escape, but it was not a portal, so she cannot have gone far. She must still be here, somewhere in these tunnels. Raz heard sounds of fighting. Did you catch up with Astaril? Were you able to question her about Peladil? Dark moons. If Astaril got away, we will have to track her down. And the Veiled Heritance is here? That is troubling. Razumdar suspected a few might have come, but he did not expect them to be here in any numbers. Hmm. Some of Razumdar's contacts warned him that the Veiled Heritance was not putting all its hopes on Prince Neyman, that they had backup plan. Neyman is dead. This must be backup plan. Possibly. If they cannot rule the Dominion, perhaps they would destroy it by attacking Valenwood. But Raz would not have thought the Heritance could muster enough manpower. Let us go. We must tell Trithen Fariel what we have learned.
If what Razendar says is true, the city of Woodhearth owes you a debt. Of course, if the city's attacked and destroyed, that won't be worth much. Maybe we can prevent that. The cat said you found orders from Vicereve Peladil. Can I see them? Damn. This proves that Peladil is planning something here. Something even bigger than killing the Queen. I'm glad you brought it to light. I just hope it's not too late for us to do something about it. There's something about Peladil's orders. The reference to Astral seems strange, and a Roman still refuses to believe she betrayed us. Either way, Astral's the key to unraveling this mess. We need to question her and find out what she knows. Well, if she hasn't realized we're onto her, we might be able to catch her by surprise. She might be down at the Thalmor residence right now. I assume a Roman will want to be there when you confront her. The three of you should go quickly, though. Even if Astoril's fled the city, you might be able to find some clues about Peladil's plans in her quarters. Let's hope you find something, because otherwise we don't have much to go on. Not much, really. I heard he just followed Prince Naaman around like a little lost puppy. Now he runs off with Naaman's body, steals the staff of Magnus, and takes charge of the Veld Heritance? It seems this puppy might have a bite after all. is preposterous. Astral has risked her life for the Dominion more times than I can count. She is one of my best officers. I refuse to believe this irresponsible slander until I have spoken with her myself. You must understand, one doesn't become a Thalmor agent until their loyalty is proven beyond question. If Astral confesses, or if we find substantial proof, I will admit I was wrong. Until then, I remain extremely skeptical. This is Thalmor business, and I am going to the Thalmor residence to confront Astral myself. You are welcome to accompany me if you choose. You see? It's clear that Astral has been dead for some time, so she cannot have been the one you saw in the Imperial Tunnels. <laughs> I told you, say what you will about the Thalmor, but we do not have traitors in our midst. Her death troubles me greatly, but the integrity of the Thalmor is of greater concern, and I am pleased to be proven right in that respect. With that concern behind us, we can finally start searching for the true source of this treachery. Undoubtedly, it was the same person that assumed her likeness and attempted to assassinate the Queen, uh, Razumda. Speaking of the cat, it seems he may have found something. This one looks forward to pouncing upon an unsuspecting Peladil. This nonsense is becoming tiresome. There could be some useful evidence down here. Let us look closely before moving on. Asteril had a sister? A twin, perhaps? 
that would explain much. Raj suspects these tunnels will reveal the rest. My favorite people, the very faces of my failure. And now you've tracked me down just to watch me die? You're just like my sister and the rest of the Thalmor. No sympathy whatsoever. <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was wondering the same thing. Then I realized he lured me here so his assassins could kill me. This is my reward for my loyal service. A blade in my gut and a nice cold tomb. Planning? Oh, he's well past that point. As we speak, his armies are storming the shore, up at Seaside Sanctuary. Once they've got a foothold there, they'll conquer all of Valenwood. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Of course not. They're just one prong of the mighty trident with which Peladil will smite the Dominion. He signed a treaty with the Malma, and with the Staff of Magnus, he's going to raise an army of undead. Yes, your days are numbered all right. <sighs> Irene is a false queen, and the Aldmeri Dominion is a pathetic joke. Nothing can change that fact, even Peladil turning on me. I'd gladly sacrifice my life to bring about the Dominion's downfall. It means my life was worth something. Having her as a twin was torture. While she climbed the ranks of the Thalmor, I was perceived as a failure. When Peladil recruited me, it was my turn to shine. I have no regrets. <laughs> In the end, Asterel and I both lost our lives for the cause. Of course. Who better to lead an undead army than an undead prince? And if Peladil brings him back, Naaman will be bound by the Vicereve's will. And no longer will Peladil need to worry about the prince making bad decisions. Huh. <sighs> Peladil says he's under no illusions about that fact. But he still gets rather glossy-eyed when speaking about Naaman. I suspect he still harbors some hope that the Prince will play a role in the future he has envisioned. <sighs> it's simple enough. The Sea Elves have always coveted these shores. If they help Peladil dismantle the Dominion, he's agreed to give them Valenwood. It's not like these damn Bosma have done anything other than cause us trouble. You mean elsewhere? Far as I know, Peladil doesn't even care. He just wants the Somerset Isles. I don't even think he wants to rule them himself. As long as they're ruled by someone other than Naaman's sister. Just leave me to die. I wouldn't accept your help and you'd be better off not offering. It's too late. He can't be stopped.
Razendar explained how we were fooled by Laurel. I wish I had time to show proper gratitude. But he also told me that an army of Mawama, led by Vice Reeve Peladil, is making landing on our shores. Is this true? Damn. Honestly, I rather hoped he misheard. I suppose that's rarely the case. Very well, then. I will muster the city's defenses, but there is only so much we can do. I'm certainly glad you're here. You and Razumdar may be our best hope. You should get to Seaside Sanctuary as soon as possible. If we strike the Maoma hard enough there, we might be able to drive them back out to sea before they get a foothold on the shore. I'll send anyone I can spare, but the city comes first. There is an outpost at the sanctuary with a few soldiers, if it hasn't been overrun. Go through the Serpent's Grotto and look for Major Serenway. She's the commanding officer. Those frozen faces. She killed them all. Froze them solid. How am I supposed to defeat that? I had to run, right? I had to hide or I'd be killed too. Uis mother, a legendary beast. We'll kill it and take home the trophy and be legends ourselves, we said. We charged and she... Well, just look down there. Their screaming faces, frozen in death. <laughs> It's stupid. I snagged my foot in a root and tripped. While the others were slaughtered, I was face down in the mud. I know I should avenge them, but I'm a coward. Please, help me. Destroy that... thing. It's a hard luck.
There you are. I felt embarrassed at my cowardice sending you back after this thing after I'd fled. I thought I'd come to help you avenge my companions. You did it? You must be stronger than you look. Thank you for avenging my hunting party and making the area safer for all. I don't have much, but take this as my thanks to you. Got to get out of here. This is not good. This is not good at all. These trees are unfamiliar, and there are spriggans and lurchers everywhere. Everything. I've lived in this forest my whole life, but I've never seen it so angry. Spriggans and lurchers everywhere, and a grove I've never seen before. It's hard to explain. I grew up here. It's a peaceful place. But now it feels... troubled. There's a priest investigating in the middle of the grove. Talk to him. I'm getting out of here.
Please, don't bother me. This warding spell is quite complex, and if I don't finish it soon, there'll be nothing to stop the impending invasion. You see the Spriggans and Lurchers everywhere? They feel it. The coming invasion. Daedra. I am the last priest of the Wooded Eye. We were charged with protecting this grove, but the wards have failed. We have failed. Intruders. Greedy for power. Broke the wards and attacked my fellow priests. I can't defend against the coming Daedric invasion alone. I need your help restoring the wardstones while I complete the warding spell, or Daedra will overrun this place. They're on the high ground surrounding the grove. There are three of them. Please, hurry. We've not much time. The wardstones surround the grove. They are powered by magicka. I'm a priest of the Wooded Eye. The last priest, from the look of things. Can't say I'm happy about it. Oof, them. Well, one of them looked like he'd seen livelier days. <laughs> the other just looked shifty. Both Altmer, I think. Get here? It's always been here. How to explain? It exists, but to most people it blends seamlessly into the forest. You can't see it unless you're woven into the wards, or you figure out a way to break them. It'll make this grove once again invisible to all except those who know where to look, or who are woven into the warding.
too close. They nearly had us that time. The wards will keep the Daedra bound for now, but I'm still not sure how they managed to break them. We need to investigate Ilmiris. Ah, oh, yes. Perhaps I wasn't exactly forthright. This grove exists to conceal the Cradle of Ilmiris, a library of secret knowledge. The Wooded Eye are its guardians. We serve the Woodland Man. You might know him as Hermamora. Yes, a uh, Daedric Prince. But the only reason the Daedra are bound here is to keep this place hidden. Ordinarily, they pose no threat. They broke their bonds when the intruders destroyed the wards, and now they threaten all of Greenshade. I do not know the mechanism myself, but Saramir, the caretaker of the Vault of Memories inside the Cradle of Ilmiris, he'd know, if he's still alive. Yeah, well, this crisis transcends religious differences, don't you think? I want to secure the Grove. You don't want Greenshade to be destroyed. Binding the Daedra is good for both of us. The spirits of Daedra supply magicka to the wards. It's all very complicated. The important thing is that you find Saramir and learn how to bind the Daedra permanently. <laughs>